When the latest eruption of the Swartzing volcanic system in the Sunduka craters, the new series, uh, started, it was like this, the slicing through the earth toward the north, the first fissure opened, and then we had the second fissure to the south of it. It formed a chain of craters, and uh, the summary of it was that it reached the L12 and L13 walls quickly in the first day, and then covered the road 43 near the Swartzengi. So far, nine winds are still active. I've numbered them and named them, based on the suggestions some of them, by our viewers. Because the land uplift at the Swartzengi looks constant, as not increased or decreased, it seems the magma reservoir directly now is flowing toward the Swartzengi volcanic system and then directly to the ground. Something like a Fagodesville volcano that we had earlier. The rate of the eruption has remained constant, especially in these two, which is a biggie and a cave. Cave is to the left. And as you can see, uh, they have created a pool of lava around themselves. The area they're covering is five and a half kilometers so far, square kilometers. And 20 million uh, cubic meters of lava has erupted. And the rate of the flow is 70 to 20 cubic meters per second. These two craters, which actually I've named here it, Cave and Biggie provide us with the scale because Isaac von Bagason had a video showing people standing in front of this cave as if perspective wise and that provides us with the scale. We know that the people were around 750 meters. That's the distance, half the distance between us and that uh, system in the uh, Sunuka craters. And based on that average height of the people, we can say the height of the cave is a little bit more than 10 meters. And based on that, we can say the biggie must be around 20 meters, which nicely matches what we know with the other volcanic eruptions at the earlier stage, like the Meridori volcano and the one that is was in the Fagodesville. These are comparably huge for such a short period of time. 